In this tutorial, I'd like to show you Photo Montage. Photo Montage is a set of generators that allow you to create stunning picture slideshows. I'm in Premiere Pro, but these effects also work in Final Cut Pro, Motion, and After Effects as well. Photo Montage is a set of generators located in the Effects window under Photo Montage. There are 20 different styles to choose from. Let's take a look at some of them. The easiest way to deal with FX Factory generators in Premiere Pro is to create a new transparent video clip. This will appear in my project window. I'll drag it to my timeline and drag the Whoosh generator onto it. What loads are some default Apple images, but you can get a feel for what this generator will do. It creates a slideshow from your pics with the FX Factory Pro Whoosh transition between each slide. From the effect controls, I'll go to the Images section and click the Choose button. It'll ask you to pick a set of image files to be animated. Once you've done that, the Edit Image window appears. Here I can change the generic file names to the titles I'd like for on-screen text. I can reorder the pics via drag and drop. At any time, I can use the plus or minus buttons to add or delete photos. Plus, a double click on the photo itself opens it in preview if I'd like to do any editing. Under the cropping section, I could choose how each individual photo should be displayed on my timeline, since my HD aspect ratio is different than that of these images. Scale to fit or scale to fill. I'll leave these set to default as I'd like to see them on the timeline first. I'll click OK to load this up. Let's tweak some of the parameters. Before I do anything, I'll uncheck loop and adjust my image duration to 1.5 seconds and keep my transition duration to half a second. I'll twirl down the Wish transition controls. My direction source is currently set to cycle direction clockwise, meaning it will cycle through left, down, right, up. Let's set it to alternate direction horizontally, which will push us back and forth, left and right. I like how this looks. I'll twirl down the geometry section where we can further control the scaling. Plus, there are some nice presets in here, including a handy broadcast safe that crops the image within the broadcast safe zones. Additionally, you can manually control scale, angle, and position within the frame. I'll check the randomize button, which gives me a very cool randomization of scale and angle. Below appear the controls for what to animate and how much. I'll just change the animate when drop down to only during pause and leave the rest as is. I'll twirl down the border parameters and create a margin with the margin parameter. I can add some roundness to the border. Under the effects parameters, I'll check the vignette box and then adjust it with the vignette parameters that appear. We have further effects like sepia and duotone, but I'll leave this set to none. Under the background parameters, I'll set this to gradient and then adjust the colors to taste. Under the drop shadow category, I'll turn this on and make any adjustments to it. I'll turn on titles in the titles category. We have two options, show relative to frame, which will have static titles on screen, or show relative to image, where the titles will be attached to the images. I like the second option better for this slideshow. And of course, we have extensive control over color, font, and placement of the text. Lastly, I'll turn on motion blur for some added realism. Photo montage gives you some quick but powerful photo animations. FX Factory offers a huge selection of great plugins, and if you don't have them yet, I suggest you go try them out at noiseindustries.com.